Can anybody guess what you got to do to not get orders on Instacart? Comment down below. I'm going to tell you what it is in my experience. It's, it's to get a five-star rating. And uh, that's what I did. I got five-star, and it doesn't pay to be perfect. <laughs> I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But five-star is supposed to be like, you know, obviously the best you can get on Instacart. So it's technically perfect. But that can be just taken away from you in a heartbeat by somebody that just uh, didn't like the fact that you couldn't find something. Uh, as you know, if you do Instacart, people are petty as hell. But I got five-star, and Monday I made $28. Uh, now, I'm pretty picky about what I take. But damn, I mean, I was I would have taken something fairly decent at least on Monday. Monday was horrendous. I don't I don't think it was a phone issue. Um, I, I'm pretty savvy on my phone. I, I go through everything and do everything to make it run the best it can. Um, and I do run seven apps sometimes at a time, and that never has been a problem. So even Monday, I, I, I turned off a few of them just to try to get Instacart going because I am an Instacart fan. That's my favorite app to use. Uh, but here lately, I've been using a lot of shipped. Um, I've been getting some nice tips on there. Uh, and they, they, these people saved me this week on shipped. I had a $59 uh, tip on shipped. And um, my low goal for the week is $100 every every day. Uh, I work four days a week. So I'm looking to make minimum $400. I made $390 this week. You know, I mean, I, I just, I could have made my goal. I'm usually one that sticks out there and, and will reach that goal at least. Uh, which I've never had to try to reach $400 in a long time because I've made well over that every week. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's very frustrating. Uh, I didn't stay out for the 10 extra dollars because it just wasn't worth it. I just called it quits and came home. Uh, I did get home and turn on DoorDash in my local small town of 1,500 people, and a Dairy Queen order came on for two oh four. Uh, some son of a bitch tipped four, uh, four cents. So... Um, yeah, they're, they're not getting their order from me. I'm, I don't do shit like that. That's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, granted, it was a mile, what was it, 1.9 miles? Still, I'm not cranking my car out and getting out in this damn heat for $2, especially your four cent tip, so you can just eat shit. So anyway, uh, and for the people in the two or three videos ago that say that I shouldn't talk to people like that, uh, man, it's just, uh, you know, people that do shit like that deserve worse, trust me. Uh, I don't know their situation, but I know they can tip more than four damn cents if they're ordering food. Uh, otherwise, you can just go get it your damn self. Uh, these prices and these apps are very high, and if you're using DoorDash at all, you should damn tip. Uh, four cents means you went over and typed in .04 because you're a douchebag, period, plain and simple. Um, anyway, back to the five-star. Uh, I, I don't know if five-star is like, um, I don't know. I've heard people say when you get five-star, it's pretty rough, but I've had five star before and never experienced this. Uh, I do see some high paying orders, but there's some high damn miles to go with it. I had a $39 order the other no, actually it was $49 going 38 miles. Now, some of you might've taken that. Some of the, some people have this dollar per mile mentality, which is dumbest shit I've ever heard. Um, I, I used to preach it myself, but I, then I went to a dollar 75, but I, I think a dollar per mile, you're, you're just losing your, your ass. Like this order was going 38 miles out of Dothan. So you have to come back. So you're looking at a $49 order if everything's there and the, and the money doesn't come down. And if the person doesn't tip bait you, which I don't usually get that on Instacart. But um, yeah, I just, uh, that's 78 miles. Is that right? Did I add right? 76 miles. Okay, 76 miles. I can't add. But anyway, it's, it's just been rough. It's been very rough. Uh, I've not... I've seen other people going in. I don't know if they're new people. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, maybe it'll be better next week. I'm only working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week because of Memorial Day. But um, yeah, let me know down below if, if you guys are five star, what your experience is with five star on Instacart. Uh, I just feel like I saw better orders at 4.99. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I think so. Uh, and I've got a uh, super fast time of, uh, you know, picking up items versus the checkout. I think that's what it's called. Um, but uh, it's higher than normal lately. It's 62 seconds, but, you know, I've been down to 40s before. But uh, anytime you go to a Sam's or a Costco, you might relate with that or something like that. It, it, they'd give you like five minutes to get several items in a warehouse. It just doesn't make sense. So your time goes up. Anyway, I'm rambling. I just wanted to come on here and see what you guys thought. If you were five stars, were you experiencing problems? Uh, are you already experiencing summer slowdown, which, you know, is, is a thing. 
but usually my area don't really get affected too much. If you call support, you don't get any help. You get copy and paste, which I went off on some of them th this week because I just want a real person. Like I just want someone to be real with me and not do all this copy and paste. And, and you know, when somebody does that, I tell them that's the same thing the last person said last time I contacted support to a T. That's exactly what they said. Uh, sometimes I actually have that saved and copy and paste it ahead of time. So as soon as they send it, mine is sent. So they basically see what I, you know, I'm saying the same thing they did it to it too, like dialed down to the word. Uh, but that's just me being a smart ass. I, I really would like a person to talk to. I actually talked to somebody on ship today and it was just great. It was just back and forth interaction. It was just amazing. Um, and they solved my problem. But anyway, just let me know down below uh, your experience with five star rating, uh, what you think. Um, I think it's crazy. The whole thing's crazy because like if you get to 4.96, you're just a standard shopper in the app. That's what it says. It makes you feel like shit because you got a 0 .04 uh, difference from a five star, you know, and then, then when you get five star, you don't get nothing. So anyway, just let me know. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.